In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called finding the x-intercepts and the vertex of a parabola. So we're finding the x-intercept and the coordinates of the vertex for the parabola y equals x squared minus 4x minus 12. So I will start with the x-intercepts. And we know that the x-intercepts have a y value of 0. I added the graph here to show that this is where our graph will cross the x-axis when y equals 0. So we can take the formula for our parabola, set y equal to 0, and from here we can solve for x by first factoring the quadratic on the right hand side. Since the leading coefficient is 1, we know that this will factor with an x and an x, and we know that our factors for 12 are either 1 and 12, 2 and 6, or 3 and 4. And since we need the middle terms to add to a negative 4, I can see that using a negative 6 and a positive 2 will be the right combination. So I'll write this as x plus 2 and x minus 6. And we now have two factors being multiplied with the result of 0. That means that one of those two must be 0. So either x plus 2 must be 0 or x minus 6 must be 0. From the first, we can subtract the 2 over, and we have x equals negative 2 as an intercept. I'll go ahead and represent that on the graph. And then from the second, when I add the 6 over to isolate the x, I get x equals 6 as the second x-intercept. So our two x-intercepts are negative 2, 0, and 6. So our two x-intercepts are negative 2, and 6. I'll switch now to the coordinates of the vertex and we know that our parabolas are symmetric so the vertex will always be in the middle of the x-intercepts whenever we have two. If we only had one x-intercept that would be the vertex but here we have two x-intercepts and in the middle of negative 2 and a positive 6 we have positive 2. So positive 2 is 4 units to the right of negative 2, 4 units to the left of 6, so it is the exact middle of those two points. I know that my vertex will have an x value of 2. I just need to find the y coordinate by substituting that x value into the parabola. So doing so, I would have y equals x squared, here our x is 2, so 2 squared, minus 4 times x, so 4 times 2 minus 12. We can simplify on the right, 2 squared is 4. Minus 4 times 2 is a minus 8 minus 12. So again, simplifying y equals 4 minus 8 is negative 4 minus 12, a negative 16. So our coordinate would be 2, negative 16. We weren't asked to graph, but it would have this sort of shape where the coordinate of the vertex is 2, negative 16, and with the two intercepts we found earlier.